Frankie, you know, we'll help him as much as we can. Try to get him to play some as far as we're concerned. Everybody in Sprinkle is going to get reps. We're installing more and getting everybody. We're so young there. Everybody, Eric Williams, uh, Bryce Peters, our new kid that came over from defense, they all had to get reps anyway. So yeah, he probably would have got less reps being here because he was the guy with experience. The other guys have to get him. Mm -hmm. So, no. Do you, do you worry at all thinking ahead that you got 13 career yards coming back from those running backs? No, I, you know, if you follow the career that I've had, I think you, we're going to adjust to the personnel we have. Uh, we're not going to be We've got some very talented white uh, talented quarterback. Uh, we've got some freshmen running back coming in. So, and we've got some kids that can play in the backfield that are quite awesome. We showed that last year. So. We'll just have to find what we've got in the fall camp, and it's not right now. We have, there will be no conclusion of what we have to get in the fall camp and really figure it out. That's is, right, always. Isn't spring really, the, this is 15 practices of discovery for you, so you guys have more of a plan going into fall anyway? That and for all these young kids to know, we're, we're putting them in every situation and every play, so they'll... Oh yeah, that's what that is, and, and it'll come back to them a lot easier. It's the first time in fall or in, in a game. Coach, I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, in spring we did that like five times. I remember it. Maybe I didn't do it the way you wanted it, but here it is in my mind. So mm -hmm. it gave us a thought. Nick, but, and then go ahead. Uh, Nick Stevens. What, uh, I mean, I know it's still early in camp, but what type of leap do you expect him to take this spring and throw? Well, you know, I expect him number one to compete his ass off. Mm -hmm. you know, that's what he's got to do and understand. And, and know where the backs are on every play. Um, as a young kid, sometimes you don't know where their checkdowns are going to be because checkdowns are lead us to first downs and lead us to touchdowns. And he's got to understand that. I expect him to take leaps and bounds. Uh, he, he started in fall camp last year and then it really didn't get another rep after that, so he fell off. His mechanics have to improve now. We've got to work on his stride length and, and make sure that we shorten that and get the ball out quicker. Uh, so for him, it's still a learning process, but I expect him to make leaps. It did look with, with Nick, you have adjusted his throwing motion a little bit from last year. You know, he, he, he long strides at times. Mm -hmm. And when you're long stride, you get a tendency to pull the hips too early. So we're working on that. Uh, we want him to pull through over the top a little more and not through to the side. So we we'll work, we'll worked on Garrett. Garrett, when I first got here, drifted to the left all the time. And our big adjustment last year is don't drift into that left tackle. That's the weak side of it. Stay in the pocket. And, you know, C.J. Leonard was, he was throwing off his back foot, and C.J.'s now worked and throwing more on his front toes. Um, I mean, we're making progress here. Garrett's got to be outstanding. Nick's got to be outstanding. CJ's got to be outstanding. What are you looking for in terms? What do you want to get out of the spring in terms of trying to figure out what your identity of an offense is going to be next year? I'd like to see the interior line grow and develop and know that we can try to run the ball. It doesn't matter who's in the backfield, but they make their calls. It's five new guys really because Ty's not out there right, right. now. And it's five new guys. And, you know who's the center? Fred, you got Jacob or Jacob or Fred, whoever, all three are centers. You know, who can play guard, who can play center, who's going to win the job there? And then how physical we get. The game's a physical game, it won't change. Mm -hmm. Can we come off and knock people off? And then the young kid that's here, Jordan Finley, he's got to develop. And, you know, he's swimming right now, he really is. But he's got talent, and we just got to stay with him. And it reminds me of the first day of spring last year. Some of those kids have never heard our terminology. Well, everybody else now knows our terminology, but he does it, so he's swimming with that. At, at what point do you want to know yeah. who is center, who's guard? Or is the timeline important? There? For the center, I think it will, will okay. be. The guards, no. Okay. Uh, I, I think it's important when we have a one and two center. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to come out of spring with a one line. But, you know, uh, they have to, somebody's going to have to step up. Who's that going to be? I don't know yet. What do you want to see out of your young wideouts this spring as they continue their growth? I'd like to see Higgins take another step. I mean, he's got a lot of talent. Uh, after game four, he developed. We saw him at the end. Uh, I'd like to see Jordan Baden play like he did in the bowl and continue that. That's pressure on people with two big wideouts. Sammy Long and Xavier Martin and, and Masters are big receivers. We're no longer tiny. Mm -hmm. We're really big out there. And I like to be physical and, and be down the field. 
big throws to those guys. And then with Chuck and, uh, and Hansley, that they're multiple and they can play every place. They might be in the back row. They might be at the slot receiver. They might be outside. And they, they're capable of doing all those things. But the other guys to be big receivers and be vertical players. But can't Sammy and Xavier also be somewhat, uh, even yeah, Elroy, yeah, be in slots, slots too? Yeah. Pretty much. Just, yeah. if, you put, if you put Vaden, Higgins, Xavier, and Sammy on the field, that's four guys that are 6'3", and mm -hmm. who cares who's in the slot, and we're just going down the field. So, right. you know, that's what we're hoping. But your offense will change next year somewhat. Oh, yeah. I this is the time when you're, year. I know, this is, this is the time when you find out where you kind of start leaning to, isn't it? Um, who can be your go-to guys? I think who the, first you want to be ten, the first 10 days is more important that we install what we do, mm -hmm. terminology. And today was a new install, tomorrow was a new install. I mean, we had 11 days of install, which is just, and it's more important that it all gets in. Is it important that it's done correctly? I'd like to see it, yeah. but it's not. But like I said, when they get into fall camp, oh yeah, we did that. I remember that. They can work on it during the summer. So I think it's more important that we get everything in. And then from there, you know, get some kind of identity. The identity is not, are we four wide outs or are we three tight ends? The identity is, can we be physical? That's what I'd like to see them want to do. If we can be physical, you got a chance. If you can be physical, friend, so you can do whatever you want to do, whatever personnel suits you best. And, and and how do you like the new tight ends and what are they should have well, uh, Stephen Walker is very talented. Uh, he's swimming still because he's playing H, he's playing Y, he's playing out in space and doing those things. Uh, and then you know, Christian is a little lost sometimes. Christian today showed that he can be physical mm -hmm. and that's what his forte is going to be because he's 267 pounds. I really like all the 